So, we only lived in Missouri for a few days, and I already have a honeydew list. Let's get to it. So my wife really doesn't like the pool. She wants a new pool put in. So I got to tear out the old one and put in a new pool. And that's the first thing we got to do today. So I rented the backhoe again. So I can need to stop renting that thing. Maybe I should just buy it. It's pretty bland inside. So it's, yeah, I don't know. I, I think I'll just rent it don't probably won't use it enough to pay for it make sure we uh, miss buck on the way so I did bring my super in here so I'm gonna use that to grade it out once I uh, get done with this uh, backhoe looks like we can just back it off here we are going to take out this pool so first I have to uh, break the sides open and just let all the water water my lawn. I mean, why wait for it to bleed out when you can just break down the side and have a waterfall, basically. I keep forgetting this thing has uh, inverted controls in it. I just want to go. I'm so used to non-inverted or normal whatever they're called alright so now we just gotta break open one of these sides put that in there and boom alright so that's our new pool we made I kinda like it see I mean what's a better pool than this I'm just joking I kinda messed up and uh, created a huge mess back here. I'm going to have to clean this up. Clean it up for my wife sees. Good thing she isn't here right now. That was a boo boo. Alright, we are really trying to uh, fix our mess here. Raise this up a little bit. Oh man. Yeah, we made a muddy mess back here, so good thing, like I said before, when the wife isn't here, you can make as much mess as possible. You just have a problem once she gets home. Alright, so I'm going to get the building supplies up here. Hopefully get this uh, built before she gets here. Now look at that like nothing happened it's built pretty nice I think so this will be nice on the hot days getting to enjoy our pool so hopefully she likes that she wanted a little walkway around the pool and stuff like that it's not a huge pool but it's a nice one so I'm gonna get these uh, get this cat back and uh, put it away and get my trailer put away and uh, then I got to go up and meet Jim. Alright, so I'm gonna go get put my uh, trailer, or park my trailer actually. I don't know where I'm exactly going to put this trailer. This is a good spot. Probably just over here by our other trailer. Might be alright. Yeah, here we go. I'll just put it by our big text. Park this. And then uh, I need to head up to Jim's. Before I get up there, so I finished disking that field last night. And this is just bothering me. I gotta wash this off because this thing is just filthy. Can't have this old John Deere iron looking bad. Especially such a beautiful tractor like this uh, 4440. There we go. Now that's all washed off. Now we can go head to Jim's. So, if you don't know, Jim lives quite a ways from us. He did close on his uh, farmyard, I guess. 
think it's still closing. So I know he bought a house and some land, so I believe they still call that closing. But we're going to head up there because uh, Jim needs a little help basically uh, moving in. So Jim did end up selling a lot of his equipment at his auction he had. So his organ auction, he sold quite a bit of his equipment. He did purchase some he wanted. So he was just tired of some of the equipment. He wanted new. So I don't know exactly what he did. Did, but some of his equipment he ended up shipping here we got to do move some of that and some of it he's already bought since he's gotten here so Jim has been busy the last few days and look at that John Deere equipment the lot is just so full God freaking everything over there almost I did notice that I know John Deere doesn't make a grain cart but they don't actually have a grain cart over there which is kind of weird but uh, uh oh driving like a maniac here car coming here yeah, there's a lot of cars on the road watch out car Man, cars all over the place. Ooh, sorry. Sorry. Just a little love tap there. Don't be too worried. I'll be out of your hair here soon. Man, somebody must be putting down a lot of concrete. Because there's concrete trucks all over the place. That was a close call there. Almost got T-boned. This is a big dairy barn, I think. Livestock barn or something. Uh, I don't know if anybody owns that, if, or I don't know the owner who. I don't know the owner who owns that dairy barn, but it's like there's a big old pasture with it. Wouldn't mind having that area there. It's like it's a uh, pretty hilly ground there. You can only really have a pasture in that because you can't really uh, farm that hilly of a ground road grader needs to come out. These roads just need a little work on them. Bumpy. So as you can see, Jim doesn't live as close to us like he did in Oregon. He lives quite a ways away over here. Uh, pretty windy road, so it's unfortunate. So I I'm pretty sure Jim still would like me to be a farmhand for him, but not positive. That he, but I need to ask him, but I mean, it's a good sign that he's help, asking us to help him uh, basically move in here, so it's not a bad sign anyways, so if he wouldn't ask us at all, then I'd be probably pretty concerned. These are some wide open road or uh, fields here, so this is definitely a uh, valley here. Got these nice flat lands, a little bit of trees and cover, big old elevator there. Go over the train tracks here. So this piece of land up here on the hill, kind of is what Jim ended up closing on. That thing is nice. Wow, Jim's done a lot of moving in, it looks like. A lot of equipment out there. I don't see his truck around here. I wonder if he's around. And Jim bought him a little uh, pasture land or something. I think we'll just uh, park this up here. There we go. I guess... I don't know if Jim's around here or not. I don't see him. What? We'll, uh, knock on his door. Oh. Uh, looks 
pretty plain. I, I feel bad because I'm kind of snooping. I mean, looks like he still needs to move in his uh, household supplies still. It's definitely an upgrade in houses for Jim. Now. Wow. Now, Jim's got a little bit of pasture land here. Let me jump up over here. Walk down the chute. So, yeah, you got a nice little uh, pasture here. Now, I don't know how far this goes back there, but it's a pretty nice little pasture. It looks like he has a uh, old cattle barn here. This might be set up for dairy. Or this is just a cow calves. I don't think Jim has never struck me as the cattleman type, so I don't I don't know. But maybe maybe we can run some head of cattle up here. So we can run a lot more head. We put them on this pasture land. And possibly just do farmhand work to pay for the Possibly just do farmhand work to pay for the rent of the pasture and the rent of the buildings and the items. I don't know. It's kind of uh, it's kind of exciting. I don't know. Maybe that might be, not be a bad idea. Might have to talk Jim into it. Hopefully he doesn't become a cattleman all of a sudden. What do we got in here? I'm, I'm the snooping type. Still waiting for Jim. Oh, yeah, he's got a, looks like a uh, spreader tear gator here. Not a bad piece of equipment. That's definitely new. I don't think he had one. Maybe he did. No, he didn't have one. He didn't have one in Oregon. So he's got a chisel here with rolling discs on the front. Looks like he has a little hitch on the back. Ooh, man, did Jim get into strip tilling? This is a ripper stripper. Hmm. Sounds like a place of a club, but that's not at the best place. Ripper stripper, huh? So this must be a 12 row uh, stripping rig. Kind of like Jeffrey has. Jeffrey and Jim being alike. Let's see what else we got in here. I know, I'm snooping. Ooh, we got a new Holland L234. L234. They forgot the one. Not a bad little equipment. It looks like he has a hitch on the front of it. Not bad. Looks like this is a little box for it. A little grappling hook. Ooh. What do we have here? Oh, so. Man, we got a MT555 Delta. A little Challenger. Hmm. I didn't know. I, I know Jim like class, but Challenger's like a totally different uh, equipment. This is, I think, uh, Adco owns them. Huh. Nice and black inside. Yeah, we got a uh, Ag Leader here. Yeah, we got all them remotes. Not sure. I guess them are uh, hydraulic remotes. Ooh, look at that. We got all these uh, controls. Man, these are nice. Not for sure how to use these. Where's the on switch? Turn this thing on. Wow. It's kind of nice. I kind of like the feel of this. Wish the monitor was a little bit, you know, uh, bigger, I guess. But uh, otherwise, this is a pretty nice piece of equipment. It'd be nice if they had some air intakes. We got the back window open there. Have some AC air coming up from the seat or somewhere around it, and not just up there because. Then when you're riding long days in the field, your uh, butt starts sweating. Kind of like it. Front wheel drive. Four wheel drive, I mean. Alright, we got a uh, 8320R. Kind of 
I don't like his uh, old. I don't know if he just. Uh, pretty sure, yeah. This he had this in uh, basically in Oregon. He must have brought this with him. Looks like he did put on a rock box in front of it though. Kind of nice. So I I'd like to see him. He brought some of his green paint with him. Looks like he did a little updating. Ooh, we got a little blue here. T6125. Looks like a nice little old uh, loader tractor or uh, mowing tractor, I guess. Not bad. Maybe put it on an auger or something like that. Wow, man. This thing, for just a little old blue, this thing's kind of nice inside. Got, you know finger control or you got your uh, joystick there your your loader control I guess is in one Wow what do we have here a Massey Ferguson 95 I don't never seen this tractor before pretty big wheels on this thing well this is you know it it's actually almost looks bigger than that little blue over there some seat sit in this mm. thing. Look how small we look. You know, when you look at it, it doesn't look as big until you actually get on it. It's pretty big tractor, older tractor. You know, looks like you got old stick shift down there. The throttles up here by the steering wheel. Got old toolbox. Not a bad loading or a mowing tractor I guess I don't know if this is capable of loaders don't really see where your hydraulic controls are here not a bad tractor kind of like the rounded hood in the front pretty nice all right what do we have back here in the garage or in the storage this is kind of a nice building Really nice building for basically your semis. So old blue here, I think he brought. He did look like he got new Wilson trailers. He did buy these Brent 644. Yeah, we got two of them here. Yeah, I've never took Jim as much of a gravity wagon stuff, but maybe some of this came with the farm. I, I don't know exactly what the business was but uh kind of like them i kind of wouldn't mind having me some uh gravity wagons too i'm gonna have to uh, maybe i can buy them off jim or maybe i can find another ones i don't know we'll see Ooh, jim does like his ford 9000s looks like he got a this is new or he painted his old one one of the two it's all black black trailer man that's a nice Ford 9000 yeah, I wouldn't mind having one of them I think I like my back Mac a little bit better but it's definitely a nice farm truck that's for sure you usually don't see them nicer trucks on a farm but Jim you know Jim is he has a serious freaking setup for farming for semis at least well basically everything and I do like that cat though. Wouldn't mind having one of them, but hopefully we can help out Jim a little bit so we can drive his cat truck. Oh man, we got some uh, anhydrous tanks. Ooh, wow, that heater just came on. That thing is loud. I'm surprised you can't see the smoke coming up out of it. Got some McDonald uh, headers back here. Hmm, what do we got in here? So it looks like he brought his uh, Brent big grain cart here. Yep, brought that. So Jim definitely got new planters. Pretty sure he had that sprayer back in uh, Oregon. But Jim definitely didn't have Great Plains planters. So it looks like he has a Great Plains set up here. What is this? Is this a... Uh... 24 row or 16 row we got six yeah 
16 row planner got a little uh, fertilizer cart on the back kind of nice nice really nice setup there really nice so we did have this hardy uh, navigator 6000 with the uh, duels on the back this is new this is definitely new so Jim must have went down to the John Deere dealership and got one of their 16 row planners that's nice yeah Jim pretty nice Jim wish I had one I, to be honest I kind of really like my planner I have right now but it would be nice to hold a little bit more seed like these do looks like uh, yep these have downforce electric drive so uh, yep them, them are nice we got over here it looks like we got some field cultivators what is this I believe he had these in Oregon yeah he must have brought these these two field cultivators I think they're what 40 foot appear to be 40 foot maybe I'm a little bit off oh, wow we got a chisel with rolling baskets back here got a little hitch back there that is a nice chisel so it looks like he has two separate chisels there one that has the rollers on the back if you want to do a little bit more chopping Ooh, we got some uh, blue jet freaking uh, side applicators here got two of them 3000 and a 3015 I don't really know the difference so nice little side applicators there alright so I guess we need to figure out where Jim's at I do not know where Jim is at well, why he told me to be up here when he's not here Ooh, what do we have here is that Jim right there Wow what do we have coming down the road I see a lot of red I see a whole lot of red what is this coming man Jim must have got him a new uh, Ford there Look at this stuff coming down the road, man. What do we have here? This all looks new. This whole... Everything's new. Whoa. What are these? Jim has went red. Man, as Jim went red. Now, that's a pretty close call there, buddy. Good thing you didn't uh, scrape your chrome. We got. Oh man, them duels are wide. Look how wide that is. Make sure you have your wide, oversized load. Yeah, you better have that flag with them wide things. Whew. So we got a 7240. The 8240. Man, look at them tracks on there. Kind of digging the the white rims. They're pretty, they're nice. Man, I I never thought I would see the day. I thought Jim was just uh, green, two shades of green, or uh, construction yellow. Didn't really see him with some red, but never know. You know. Usually it's just uh, what deals they can get or who's giving out the best deal. It's not really uh, the equipment or who's the best dealer around. Maybe Jim didn't get the memo that there's a new John Deere dealership down the road. Maybe that was the issue. I know there's a case dealership not too far away from here, but... What? It looks like we got a Magnum here and a 340 Magnum 
So he did bring his J&M grain cart here. Ow, I, I just can't get over. This stuff is cool. So we're backing this truck off. Getting Jim unloaded here. Ooh, man, kind of tight right here. Nowhere. Might go put this in the garage. Man, listen to that diesel whistle. And it's whistling away. All right, I think I'm gonna get this other truck unloaded. <laughs> Disregard. Trying to help somebody out, and all he did was yell at me. Man, really gotta stand up for myself. All right, so Jim wants these truckers out of here because he's paying them, basically, so I get to run this 8240. I'm gonna back this thing up, probably put it in the garage over there, and I hope that uh, big grain tank doesn't hit the door or anything. That thing is tall. Yeah, kind of nice inside here. Pretty nice cab. So we got it unchained, so now we just need to slowly uh, back it up. I'm really not positive where all these high line lines are. Ooh, I think we'll... Alright, so... We are under the Highline lines. Sorry, I didn't know. I'm new here, so... Didn't know if that... Because this thing is definitely tall. Let's see. Hopefully I can put it in this uh, garage here. Let's see. Are we going to make it? Oh, oh, just barely. Barely. Barely made that. That is close. Yeah, back this up, kind of. Yeah, there we go. Get this nice and close. Over that head. Man, that thing just barely fits in there. Good thing. Can't let the air out of the tracks here. You can only let them out the back, and that ain't going to help you much. It'll just hike it up a little bit more. All right, so I guess we need to get this uh, 7240 unloaded here. All right, start this beast up. Man, just look how wide the tires are. Man, they're a little wider. You don't even need a folding head because you're going to be super wide without it. Whoa, man. This thing will float. It'll probably float just as good as the tracks will. This thing almost looks exactly the same as the other one. Of course, it's just a uh, 7 series instead of an 8 series. Alright, we'll back this up slow. This doesn't have near the grain extension as that other one. Probably good. We can easily miss them uh, high lines. Yeah, this thing is pretty red. I'm kind of digging this 7240. Big old fatties on there. Just to make sure. Yep, we are going to miss it. Oh man, we gotta watch that uh, auger in the back. There we go. There's a little bit of room. You could back some stuff up there. Not gonna put anything through that door though. So where do I want to put that uh, grain cart? We'll probably just back it up right here. Yeah, we'll back it up. These two carts. I'm sure we're going to move some stuff around here. Planter. They'll have to get out sooner or later here in the spring. Not going to need the harvesters anytime soon. Alright. We'll get this uh, grain cart unloaded here. Man, that thing is just almost riding on them tires, just barely. I wonder how this thing got dirty tracks on it. Bad tractor inside. Back that off here nicely. Where that, oh, there that track goes to spin. Turn it sharply. Ooh. Ew, too much gas. Getting a little bit used to these uh, controls. Not quite used to these case controls yet. Ooh, 
think it'll be easiest to back this up, and then I can watch the clearance. I'll do it at kind of an angle here. Ooh, man, close. This building is just tall enough. have enough clearance back here yep still missing everything all right shut this thing off there we go I think the trucks are ready they can take off so then I can finally uh, unload his Chevy over there I was just so happy Jim actually got a Chevy that I, I wanted to unload it so quick there are them trucks leave taking off go on get out of here so I wonder how much Jim had to pay for them things. So I'm kind of surprised. I don't know. They did say Platte Valley Equipment. If he just purchased them from another Platte Valley case dealership? That's odd. Alright, so we will get Jim's one and only Chevy truck backed off. Yep, you've seen it here. Jim owns a Chevy. He does have his... uh f450 here but uh jim owns a chevy now back this thing up okay where am i gonna put a chevy i, I think i'm gonna display this chevy out here in front of his uh farm yard so everyone knows that drives by that this is a chevy owner that lives in this house. There we go. There we go. That's nice. Oh, maybe just so they uh, they can see it. There. Yep. Yep. That'll let them know. That'll let them know. Better go uh, park Jim's truck here. Man, this has a two-ray radio in it and everything. bad truck here all right man this thing has some cojones don't even feel that trailer behind it I'm gonna put this right beside his uh, semi storage there got over enough. There we go. Back it up. Voila. So Jim went to, uh, he has his household supplies. They're supposed to be coming in. So uh, he went to meet the tr semis for that. He wants us to put away all this. All right, got that unhitched. There we go, that's our last piece. Just gotta put this thing away. Man, I gotta, this thing is nice. I have to talk Jim and ask him how much he paid for this thing. Park this away. There we go. We'll shut his garage door here, or his uh, shop door. Go here, take off because that's the one thing I don't like helping out my uh, neighbors with is moving in their household goods because you scratch their paint and they act like uh, you're not your friend anymore and they're not, they act like they're paying you or something and they can yell at you. Oh, look at that old Chevy there. Perfect little uh, display for Jim's place. Has his little Chevy going. But thank y'all for watching. And I will see you later here in Missouri. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe.